All right, all right, all right, you twos. We got a bunch of maintenance to do. I got spark plugs, spark plug wires, brake pads, front and rear, oil change, rear tire. We're gonna get into this rear tire first. And here it goes. Spacer, brake caliper arm, ABS sensor. And then on this side, there's a spacer on this side too. I'm gonna get it on the bike lift and we'll get we'll get this all taken apart and we'll get it off of there, I'll show you. Then I'm gonna take the tire down the slab sides for a swap out, I'm down past the wear bar. And then this gnarly seam like showed up the whole tire. I did good on this scorcher. I got 11,000 out of this one. The last one I only got 8,000 out of. I'm going to switch over to, uh, that's not my kind of riding. I'm going to switch over to this Dunlop Elite 4, which is a high mile tire. This is a radial tire, which has metal in it. That was a bias tire. So I'm going to switch it over and see if I can get more miles out of it. It's more of kind of the riding I do. I get it on the bike lift. I put a strap on it for safety. Take my clip off. There's my safety clip, and then it's a 36 millimeter. Get a little more leverage. 36 millimeter on there. Break that free. And then we're going to take the caliper off next, which is two uh, 12, 12 millimeter Allens. Got the hardware off the rear axle. This is a brake line retainer. It's T25 Torx. I'm going to take that out too. So we have to take this caliper off. It'll give me more room to get it out of the way. I'm also, I'm also going to do my rear brake pads. It's time, and it's time to do the front pads also. All right, 12 millimeter to get your caliper off. This one and this one. And get both of those off. The caliper bolts off the bracket. You can pull the caliper off to the side. I still had some rear brake pad left. I'm at 25,000 miles, but I did get new pads. I'm gonna clean up the caliper real good and I'm gonna put new pads on. There's the caliper bracket. All right. Now I'm gonna jack, I'm gonna jack the bike up a little bit and get just a little bit of weight off the rear tire so I can get the axle out without beating the crap out of it. That's my plan. All right, I got some weight off the back tire and I'm pushing my axle through. And I got it jacked up enough so there's no weight on the back tire. And uh, just trying to get her lined up here. And she was able to pull right out of there. You don't have to beat on it, reef on it, any of that kind of stuff. She came right out, that was nice. All right, you just take your, uh, I took the caliper clamp off too, rolled the belt off, got the rear tire out, super easy. Before you, I'm gonna take it to the tire shop to get the uh, tire mounted and balanced. Just retorque your brake caliper and definitely check the torque on your sprocket bolts. I've seen these things break before. Check your bearings to make sure their bearings aren't torched. <laughs> a great time and then cl also clean out your rear sprocket you get a little toothbrush and you can clean that out real good uh don't put like wd-40 or anything in your sprocket just just clean it clean it and dry it and then i'm going to check my torque spec these are a t t45 for your rotor to hub connection and then we'll, we'll check the sprocket here in a sec and then for your sprocket it's going to be five eight and you want to check those then you can get everything cleaned up. We'll get get the new tire on. All right, I'm gonna go torque all these. We got our new tire on, so I'm double checking one more time, and then I'm gonna clean this thing up, and then we'll we'll attack the rear brakes uh, pads before we put the uh, the rear rim back in. And uh, the spec I found on these was between 30 to 45 foot pounds of torque. Caliper's already hanging off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the pads. I've loosened up the, the cover on the master cylinder, but I don't wanna depress the, the pistons yet. 
I want to get the pads out and then clean everything up real good. Then I'll depress them for the reinstall. We're going to do some scrubbing. I've done a pretty decent job on the brakes. Not bad. Not bad. See the back. This is the back one here. It wore out a little more than the exhaust side. So inside, outside. Still a ton of life left on those. I think you can go down to one millimeter. All right, there's the Harley Davidson part number, 4130019 rear brakes. You get the two rear brake pads and you get the new piece for your brake caliper arm. And that's what you get in the box. These, you have the pins you're gonna have to clean up and re-lube. So they'll get a cleanup and a relube. And we'll get this, we'll get this going. And we gotta clean out this caliper. It's a brake cleaner. Look, California grade Blake brake cleaner. Non-chlorinated. The California special. I went ahead and scrubbed my caliper out. I pushed the pistons back. Once I did all that, I went ahead and tightened up the cover on my master cylinder and cleaned it up. I'm ready to put my pads back in. And you want to use some brake lube. And the brake lube is going to go on the pins, a light coating on the pins, and on the back part of your brake pad only. Do not get any lube on the braking surface. That will just ruin your, your whole deal. Just a little film on the back here. That'll keep, that'll keep the squeaks away. You got the pads seated in with the pins going through, seated. Now I have to to torque those between 11 and 14 foot-pounds. So I think I'll set it for 12. I think I'll set it for 12 foot-pounds. And we'll get the pins, those two inner pins, torqued. I had mentioned those are 5 millimeter. Cinco. All right, now that that's done, we can we can get ready for our reassembly of this rear rim. All right, if you want to get the wheel back in, the easiest way is to take off the inner chain guard because this piece is gonna it's gonna get in your way of lining up the caliper bracket and getting it in w with this off. Just to get the tire in and the axle lined up makes life so much easier. It's just three T40s, one, two, and three. And life will be so much easier. Like, yeah, man. I got my spacer, my caliper arm holder, belt over on this side. I'm gonna roll the tire in. I got the bike jacked up. I'll roll the tire in, get things lined up. Spacers on there, that's in there, and I was able to just roll it right in. Now I'm gonna lower the, lower the lift down and get this lined up for the axle install. I got the axle through, I got the brake caliper on. I'm putting my belt guard back together here, and you do need to put Loctite on these when you put them back in. You'll see it had factory Loctite. Get some Loctite back on those and get them torqued down. I didn't break any records, but I got the rear brake pads done and the rear tire changed out. Next is going to be the spark plug, spark plug wires, and the front brakes.